King Jesus, King Jesus. Okay. Hey, uh, this report is about the fact that nurses are so exposed to the uh, Ebola virus. And two nurses who took care of Eric Duncan in Texas have come down with Ebola as well. The first one to come down with uh, Ebola was uh, Nina Pham. The other person who came, the other female healthcare worker who came down with AIDS, her name is Amber J. Benson. Now, uh, there are reports that state that Nina Pham, Pham's condition has improved. She's been upgraded. But uh, the second uh, victim of this infection, this nurse, it's reported that uh, her mother has flown emergency to be at her bedside as she was stricken with the Ebola virus. Now you gotta understand, nurse organizations are complaining bitterly that um, they don't have adequate supplies or adequate uh, uh, facilities to take care of uh, Ebola patients, although the CDC is, is, is insisting that it does. But they're the ones on the front, front lines. Nurses are the ones who administer medications. They actually come into contact with these Ebola patients. They spend more time in the room with patients. Doctors don't really see the patients except the right orders. So nurses have to carry out the orders that involve contact with the uh, with the uh, patient. So I, I can presume that uh, that is what happened in this case, either by air or by touching. Somehow they were infected. Now the nurse organizations are stating that uh, their their uh, protective gear is not adequate because they have to use surgical tape to close it up. In other words, these are not uh, uh, has, hazmat, suit, hazmat suits that are designed to protect you. So the nurses don't get to wear hazmat suits. All they, they have to wear improvised uh, suits. Now I want to go into a little bit of detail about uh, Amber Vincent. She's a registered nurse and originally from uh, Ohio. Her stepfather says right now she's okay and her temperature is going down. Her grandmother said Ms. Vincent's mother was flying from Ohio to be with her. Ms. Vincent was one of 70 six staff members who cared for uh, Thomas Eric Duncan at the Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital in Dallas before his death. It says that she first reported that she had a fever on Tuesday and was isolated within 90 minutes at the same hospital. She's 26 year, years old and lives alone. Her home is being contaminated on Wednesday by hazmat teams and her car, which was left at the hospital, will also be uh, decontaminated. So they are warning, uh, the mayor of Dallas is warning that things are gonna get worse before they get better. This, uh, the first case that was actually contracted from exposure to uh, Duncan was Nina Pham. And she's in good condition right now. And this is the second person who contracted AIDS in uh, the United States. So, uh, uh, further reports uh, state that uh, she actually was one of the per 
persons. Uh, Miss Vincent was one of the, the nurses that actually treated uh, Thomas Eric Duncan. Okay, they're treating uh, the nurse fam with a transfu transfusion of plasma from Dr. Kit Brandley. He is the uh, one of the two survivors from Africa uh, who he was an American physician who survived the, the virus. They haven't said whether uh, Miss Vincent Amber J. Vincent will be treated in this in the same manner. It says that nurses are furious that a second nurse uh, has contracted this disease. And it, it only confirms what they said that uh, that uh, the hospital is not uh, uh, equipped to deal with, a, with uh, Ebola patients. So I'm just giving you a heads up on what, what is happening, okay?